Are you ready to advance your career with a SIEM system certification? In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about Splunk, give a brief overview, and then tell you what you need to do in order to pass the Splunk Core Certified User Exam on your first try. What even is Splunk? Splunk is a tool that allows you to organize, analyze, and monitor your cybersecurity environment. All in all, it really allows you to tell a story through querying data, creating charts from your queries, also creating alerts and reports, and creating dashboards to tell you whether your environment is operating in an optimal state or if there is something malicious going on behind the scenes. So the Splunk Core Certified User. Why would you even get this certification? According to Splunk's 2023 report, it allows you to demand more income in the job market and also be more competitive in the job market. The Splunk Core Certified Core User is one of 13 certifications offered by Splunk. It's the first foundational Splunk certification that you should get. I decided to get the Splunk Core Certified User certification because during the MSU bootcamp that I took maybe a couple of months ago now, I actually had a lot of practice with two modules within the course and I fairly quickly got good at using Splunk. And I wanted something to show that I actually understood what Splunk was. And I also wanted to understand what Splunk was a little bit deeper because what the MSU Bootcamp did was it allowed me to get a lot of hands-on experience in Splunk before taking the actual test or the exam and even thinking about getting a certification. When I felt comfortable in Splunk, I felt like it was something that I would want to use in my career on a day to day. So that's why I actually ended up getting the certification, the foundational certification. Now, in order to study for the certification, Splunk is amazing. What they do is they give you free trainings for you to go through. Here's what you can expect from the training. There are nine trainings within the learning track for the Splunk Core Certified User. Within those nine trainings, there are videos, and at the end, there are quizzes. In the quizzes, there are their scores, so you need to pass each quiz. You don't necessarily need to pass it to go on to the next thing, but obviously it's recommended to pass each quiz so that you can feel confident when you're looking to schedule your test. Outside of the best practice of passing each quiz that's connected to each training, you also wanna make sure that you're going through all of the trainings at least twice, twice at the minimum. You can do it more three times, four times, until the information really sticks in your brain. For me, I did it twice, and I did this over like a week span, which that gave me enough time in order to actually understand more of what they were talking about because I had a prior experience with Splunk already. So I kind of understood the commands already. However, I still went over it twice because it was some things that I, I wasn't exposed to in the MSU bootcamp. But for you, if you have no experience with Splunk, I definitely urge you to go over it probably more than two times, maybe even three or four you know, over a span of two weeks so that you can get as comfortable as possible with the actual information before actually taking the exam. Within each training, they also give Splunk documentation on a lot of the commands, which are similar to like AWS white paper if you've ever done studying for cloud. The documentation just gives you more detail on how to use each command and then how to set up more detailed reports and alerts so you can get real into the nuance of Splunk that way and become more of a expert than just going through the videos themselves. If you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I post weekly videos about my cybersecurity journey to help yours. So I've been talking about all the experience that I've gotten from MSU Bootcamp about actual Splunk. However, if you're not actually looking to take a bootcamp in order to get experience with Splunk, the great thing about Splunk is that they offer a, a Splunk sandbox for you to be able to try out Splunk. I actually haven't set up the Splunk sandbox so I can't talk at length about actually setting it up. So in this video, we talked about what actually is Splunk. It's just a monitoring tool that allows you to analyze, 
your log data and tell a story to actually understand what it's trying to tell you. Whether your environment is secure or has been exploited by some threat actor. Also, the Splunk certified core user is the foundational certification for anyone to get to show that they have some type of Splunk knowledge when looking to apply for a job. Splunk has free trainings on their website that you can use in order to gain the information that you need in order to pass this exam. They also have the Splunk sandbox so that you can download Splunk and that can allow you to get hands on with the program and actually give you hands on experience so that you can understand more of what is being talked about in the videos from experience, not just information. Answer this question in the comments. Are you looking to get a certification with Splunk and why? See you in the next video.